Hi, my name is Björn Karlsson and I am the MD for one of Readsoft's uh, subsidiaries, the one responsible for our cloud solution. Readsoft has been busy for the last 20 years in, in automating document-driven processes. One example of such a process is invoice processing. Uh, I'm guessing most of you know that already. It can be done manually and a lot of companies do that, but it's expensive, takes a long time and it's very, very prone to errors. So we've been helping thousands of companies worldwide to automate that process. But there are hundreds of thousands, even millions of companies who still do this manually. And why do they do that? One of the big reasons, of course, is because this is associated with large IT projects. Solving the problem also incurs a great cost. That's one of the biggest hurdles. But also modern users are putting new demands on solutions like this. Um, for example, they want to be able to work from anywhere, not just from the office. They want to be able to use their mobile phones to work. Uh, they're using their surf pads and stuff like that to do work. And we need to cater for that need. And in another dimension, they expect the systems to be responsive. Even if I put 100,000 invoices in the system on a Friday afternoon, I want my invoice right now. And how do we do that? We do that by creating uh, elastic systems. They need to scale out as the volumes increase. And as the volumes go down over the weekend, we need them to shrink down back again to be cost effective. So even before you start creating your cloud service, there's one really important strategic decision to make. And then that is which cloud platform will you choose? You can go for the really basic one where you have outsourced IT and someone else is hosting your servers. Uh, you can go one level above and aim for what's called as infrastructure as a service. There you have a virtualization layer on top of that, so you don't need to care about the actual machines anymore. Uh, but if you want to go all the way, then you're going to look at platform as a service. You don't care about the operating system anymore, you don't care about the servers. You have a platform that is designed for cloud computing. Uh, and that was our choice and we choose Windows Azure, mainly because of, of three things. Uh, one, because of the, the capabilities and because of the tools that come with uh, Windows Azure that makes us able to, to effectively develop our solution. And two, because of the very aggressive roadmap that Microsoft has that uh, really future-proofs our strategic decision. And thirdly, uh, you have the SLAs that come with Windows Azure that allows us to give our users uh, the availability of the system that they require from us. So these are really the three, three key things why we chose uh, Windows Azure. We built ReadSoft Online on top of that. So it's a 100% cloud-based solution for capturing information from invoices. Um, for our users, our customers, ReadSoft Online is the bridge between an invoice, can come on paper, can be a PDF file or an XML file, and their financial system. We are the bridge in between that. For our partners, it is the data capture part that feeds their systems. You have approval systems, you have workflows, you have archiving solutions, and you have the ERP's financial systems. And we cater for all of those as well. So for our customers, ReadSoft Online is an environment where they save time. Um, they improve the data quality and also improve their processes by making uh, fewer mistakes and errors. And also they get full control of the invoice process. So these are key benefits for them. For our partners, uh, ReadSoft Online is an environment where they can add new customers really quickly. At a fraction of the time it takes to install a system, you can add one to ReadSoft Online. So we cater for both of those. And ReadSoft Online is very, very young, but we already have more than 100 customers running this worldwide. And we want that to become many, many thousands more. So, on to the demonstration of ReadSoft Online. And, uh, and to explain this demonstration, the first thing we need is, of course, an invoice. And, and one has been sent to me right now. And now I have it on paper, so I need a way to get this into my computer here. Several ways to do that, of course. I could use a scanner, I could use an MFP, or I can use a copying machine. I can also use, of course, a mobile phone like this. I wouldn't do that if I have a lot of invoices, but just for this once, why not? Now we can see uh, that the invoice has, has arrived in the system uh, and it has also been interpreted. So we, what we need to do now is to go into check and correct and see if there's anything wrong with this invoice. Um, 
I'm also going to go to, to full screen mode here, which makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on. So what we have here is, of course, the image. Uh, it's in the center here, and I can zoom, and I can pan, and I can do a lot of stuff like that. And on the right hand side, we have the fields, the information that I want to capture from the invoices. We have things like invoice number, for example. And you can see as I select invoice number here, it's also uh, highlighted on the screen. We have this zoom view here uh, and, I, and it's going to stay with us so we can always see where we are and easy, a little bit easier to verify that the information is correct. We can do stuff like rubber banding here. If the system has missed some information, I can just draw a bounding box and it will automatically be interpreted. For really long numbers, OCR numbers, IBAN numbers, stuff like that, that's really useful to do. And also something that's really important is that the system will learn. If it makes a mistake and if you have to correct it, the next time it sees an invoice from this supplier, it, it will have learned it. So the more time you spend with the system, actually the less time you need to be here. We have a warning down here, it says the VAT rate is calculated. Couldn't be found anywhere on the invoice, but we have calculated it and verified that this is indeed a valid VAT rate. So if I just say, yeah, this is okay, then I'm done with this invoice. And what's gonna happen now is that it's transferred into my ERP system and I don't have to see it anymore. Um, and going back now, to our starting screen, we can see, yeah, there's still one invoice in progress. It's on its way uh, to the RP. It's still here, but our work is done. As an end user, this is everything that you need to understand about ReadSoft Online. There is another environment here for partners, for system administrators, where you can see everything that's going on with the system, where you can add customers, add users, stuff like that. We're not going to show you that today. You're going to have to call us to find out more.